Wow, they got him wheezing and everything. The druid's body is stiff with cold. I can't take his staff, but I can take his key though. Aw, oh, the pony! He's a white walker? Maybe. Lightning element. A flask of rum! Maybe that's what he needs. <laughs> Good old rum warming you from the inside out. <laughs> that sounds like something my father would say. Whiskey. Scotch whiskey would be his uh, means to thaw out. Hey, do we just leave him there? I feel kind of terrible about this. Guess we'll come back to him later. What's that noise? Susan, Folner, I'm glad you're all right. Good to see you, Marin. Well, I can see the full scope of the problem now. It was the Frosty Tarsus. He's terrified and practically uncontrollable. We barely managed to drive him into the mountains, and we've been trying to trap him. Hurry, let's follow the squad and make sure he's caught. Hold on, we need to help the injured druid. Certainly. Don't worry about him. I'll send our brothers to his aid. <laughs> that guy's beard was the best. Gandalf! <laughs> I agree, the animation is really nice, Romana. It's very nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh! Look, that's the ancient burial place of the giants. They are almost extinct now. I see skellies! I can't open the book. I guess I need to find the key. Oh my goodness. Hey, wasn't like one of the these teeth like worth like 30? Yes, please. Now we know how we get one of those molars. Bam, we're rich now. Woohoo! So we Come on, Susan. Let me do it. <laughs> Our helper dude. The stone turned into ice. It's too slippery for me to get there. I'll need some gear. We're gonna have to totally sell our giant's tooth and then uh, use it to carry on our adventures. I wanna see something on the map here. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Whoa, look at this. Battle here. How do we help? How do we... Excellent. We drove the Tarsus into a dead end. Let's try to keep him there. Susan, can you see the three ritual stones behind my back? Those are the stones of the giant's gods. Let me guess. We need to activate them? Exactly. We need a special energy element for each of the stones. I've already found one of them. And it seems one of our brothers found the second element. I don't know where the third one is, though. I suspect it's hidden at the ancient giant's site. I saw it in the mountains while we were chasing the tosses here. Got it. We need to go back over the route you took and find that site. And the element. Right. We now have the flame element. We've got the lightning and the flame. Whoa, is there like 
A giant frozen over here too? What is this mess? Uh, oh, hello. Nothing working until I plant the appropriate one. Apparently that's not it. Nor is that one. This one's gotta be lightning. A puzzle! There must be a special trick to it! Let's put fire over here then. You think the ice golem is dancing? <laughs> yes, the ice golem is doing a dance! Oh <laughs> wait. I recognize this image! This must be a hint! Okay. A dead giant. He passed away only recently, but everything gets covered with ice very quickly in these mountains. Let's go through his stuff! We have sulfur! Why does the giant have sulfur? We don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and take that from him. Or her, we don't know. Glass trees! Special and rare species of trees which can be found only in the frozen mountains. In fact, they are neither trees nor plants, but actually timber petrified with time, which then become glassy due to low temperatures and strong winds. Glass timber is highly valued by the Antuses, who consider it ancestral power and worship it. Yeah, he's doing the monster uh, smash, is he? It looks like we have to go back here. Hello? I don't know why we need to go back here. Oh. Oh, I see. I need the code. Where was that code? Dear Diary. Looks like we only need the round one and backwards seven one. Round one, backwards seven. Into a puzzle we go. Place the blue crystals to light up the red ones. A crystal powers only the adjacent cells. Oh, I see. Wow. It's kind of like a uh, minesweeper. You want to just get them around the nine here. That's pretty cool. Fairly straightforward puzzle, though. One left to go. Bingo! I now have a key part! Not sure why we needed that key part, but I got it. Let's go here. The Halfling Village. Who wants to uh, buy... I think we're gonna have to buy a rope, aren't we? Yeah, you'd like a giant tooth, wouldn't ya? Thirty dollars! Nice! Let's go shopping! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Let's see what we look like first, because that's the best. I mean, and normally I would say hashtag Beth is the best, but... I don't know, Susan the War Maiden is pretty cool. We need to buy the rope. A dope. $30 for a rope, that's robbery. I'm not sure how the winter outfit's 25 and the rope is 30. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We have now made a hook and a rope. I don't think that's gonna go here though. No, okay. We've got a key part and some sulfur. How does that help us at all? We're gonna use it for climbing. I even like how they put the little collectible symbol here, right on the map. That's neat. So we're gonna climb some ice, I think. Yeah. 
It's certainly a lot of money for rope. I agree. Hello? Anybody in here? Something's there. It's covered with rocks, but I can't reach it. I really like the way the collectibles are plentiful, but they're not up, they're not in my face. And they're not preventing me from having uh, fun here. I don't have to stress about missing them because I can know if I've gotten them or not. It's nice. There's another developer that puts them down here on top of the inventory bar. I can't remember who that is. And uh, that's really also a good way to do it too. Man, look at the size of that skull up there. We could use the statue to cross instead of the bridge. First, I need to detonate a bomb at its base to knock it down. I've got the explosive shell, which I could fill with gunpowder. I could get 500 feet of rope for under $15. Yeah, no kidding. And we don't even know the exchange rate here, but... 25 for a full-on outfit? If 25 for a rope? Look at that, we're gonna make a boom! Coal power, niter. Oh man, we're gonna have to buy that niter, jeez. Sulfur and a wick. Lucky for us, we're gonna make a boom. Uh. Wait, what? Coal powder. Niter. Sulfur and a wick. I'm not sure why it's still showing this as a plus. Oh, I guess we're supposed to pour it out there? Alright. Done. For now. Burr, that looks cold! Yeah, the sun is... I don't know if it's setting or rising, but it looks good. The wind barrier is a magical obstruction. It can't be crossed just like that. Boom! I think that's gonna get us some coal. Coal, please. I need a key. I need a key. We don't need a key at all! <laughs> <laughs> Our helper! He's the best helper. He just smashes things. Love it. Wall of first birth. This is the place where the frosty terraces magically emerged from the mountain rock in commemoration. A wall with runes describing the mission in the lost land it was raised in place where the titan was born. The passage to the wall runs through a gorge and is protected by the wind barrier, a magic shield made of the fastest and coldest winds. Burr. Burr, burr, burr. Money, money, money! Oh! Look at that! Booyah! Look at all those dollar bills. Yeah. Yeah, I like her helper too. He is... He is great. Okay, so I think we gotta go and like, uh, go back to his cabin and, uh... Grind it up here. Where was that? Oh no, we gotta s buy something. We're gonna buy. Buh, 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 buy. We key. We don't need no stinking key. Exactly. Wait, how many do I have? Thirty-seven. Oh boy. Nighter. I've got a special promotion for you today. You're a return customer of the Namianas Pumpkin, and I'd like you to have these nice mittens totally for free. <laughs> Who doesn't like free mittens? Free mittens. <laughs> free mittens. Yes, please. I like that they're like not pink. You know, they're not like feminine. I'm using air quotes here. Feminine mittens. They're just blue mittens. Pour that nighter in there.
Yes, I like free too. Free, thank you. I think you are the best shopkeeper I've seen in a hidden object game. You're the best shopkeeper ever. Okay, let's see what else we can do now. Yeah, how generous after we just spent so much money on her overpriced rope. <laughs> it would have been great if it was rope plus mittens. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta grind. Grinding, grinding, grinding. There we go. Now we got the third ingredient. Oh, I gotta use the bag. Give us free everything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now we spoon it, I think. Yeah. 